this technology is going to be incorporated with our courses. For example, if we're just trying to refresh components of certain aspects, whether it be the heart, whether it be the lung, whether it be the renal system, the GI system, the neurological system, you can take this technology and the students can either have a refresher course, they can remediate. For example, if we're um, getting a little bit more involved into their clinical rotations, they can now start understanding the analogy or in the relationship between what they're seeing on a radiograph versus what they're seeing within a computerized generated model. This is a mini computer sitting on a headset. This technology is what is called mixed reality technology where you're putting a hologram, for lack of a better word, into a space, but the, but the students still understand what space they're in. They're able to safely walk around the space um, because they can identify whether there is another person in, in their pathway. Um, and so it just allows them a lot of freedom. The newer generation mannequins have better what is called fidelity. And when the student interacts with the mannequin, the responses are a little bit more realistic. The physiology behind these mannequins are also getting much, much better. Um, we can now run more scenarios. For example, the patient has a stroke. We can kind of mimic some of those type of scenarios. With our goal of empathetic students and having the compassion and practice, this allows us to have better and more robust engagements with our students. It also allows the student to have, for them to be a little bit more immersed from the standpoint that there is a monitor up there. So that then kind of gets them a little bit more in tune to what they might be encountering, so like for example on a ward floor or, or within a certain kind of clinical environment.